Janet. Thanks for visiting. And today we're doing a tag, a little something different. We're going to do a tag that's kind of a, a small pad of paper. So I'm going to set these things aside, but I have my crocodile and I have um, some brads um, as well as, goodness, these um, escape me. The name of them. What are they? Um, oh, well. Their embellishments I have them we're gonna use them <laughs> I've got a button from buttons galore and more and then I've got a little um, tag or are these called like gourd pins or you know it's like a safety pin and that's gonna hold the button in place and then I've got some brown cardstock I've got some tea dyed paper and then I have this free printable that we're gonna use for the cover so to begin here, I'm just going to decide, you know, what size do I want this tag to be? And so to begin, I'm going to cut off the white borders. And I know I might be out of frame here for you for a little bit of this because my paper is large, my trimmer is large, and I don't have a large working space. So I'm just cutting off the white borders first, squaring things up, all right, and then we're going to decide what size we want this to be, and I'm going to keep a major part of this image here, and then this kind of patterned bit here we're going to use for the back. Um, so I'm just looking to see approximately, let's do, let's do something along this line in width, I think. I might need to cut a little bit less. Okay, I'm going to call it that. And then let's trim this off at the top here. And so I'm being a little fussy about where I cut, just so um, I can figure out, you know, how much of this background do I need. And gosh, it looks like I could have almost just continued on up there. Let's do that. Let's just, let's just continue that cut. Make it that much easier. We'll trim off the white off the bottom here. And then we just need to even things up. And to even things up, I'm going to cut off the bottom of my front piece of that, uh, of that image. So there we go. All right, so now I have the size of my tag and I can tell you the measurements here were um what two and maybe three fourths about two and three fourths by just a little bigger than five inches but it, it you know it really doesn't matter um you can just you know make them whatever size works for you now to take my tea dyed paper um what I need to do here is figure out how many pieces can I get out of this? So I think if we go this way, it's probably gonna be our better shot. So what did I say this was? Two and three fourths. All right, so we're just gonna trim our tea dye paper down to two and three fourths. Make sure we're squared up here. Um, it's wrinkled, so I'm having a little bit hard time lining it up. But, all right, so that's one cut. And then two and three fourths. And let's see, can I squeeze one more out of this? I'm turn it over because 
had a little tear in that corner. All right, so in order to make this one work, I'm gonna have to really hold it down because I'm cutting a small amount off there. And of course it tore a little bit. You know, tea dyed paper is, um, what can I say? It's a little bit more fragile than our regular paper. So then for our height here, I'm just going to use my paper, the front here, to tell me how big I need it to be. Okay, and that cut through everything, and then one more cut, and we're done with this. All right. There we go. All right, so that's our inserts. Now, I have this brown paper that I wanna use as a fold over piece. And I don't, I don't need a lot. Maybe something like that. Um, let's see if that is enough there. I think it is. All right, so I'm just gonna trim this down and once again I am not measuring I am just kind of visually eyeballing things here um, and my fold looked to be a little crooked so I'll just clean it up there all right and then since this is going to go over our paper I need to see where we need to trim at I'll just make a little dent there I can see what we need to trim off and we are done with cutting and we're good to go. All right, setting all of this extra aside here, getting my trimmer out of the way because we're done with that. All right, so let's see how this is gonna go. This is the front. These are my tea dyed papers. You can see they're the same size. And then I've got my back panel. I'm gonna go like that because I have this little printed piece here and I'm gonna hide it underneath this flap that goes over the top, all right? So in a sense, that is our tack right there. So it is kind of a little usable pad of paper and a tag at the same time. So to find the center here, I am just kinda almost eyeballing. <laughs> Kind of measuring, kind of eyeballing where I want to poke my hole. Right about there. Maybe a little bit higher. All right. So I'm going to grab my crocodile. And let's take a look here and see what we have that's going to work for this. All right. So there's that. And then... I want one of these. I think that's a good color, kind of a brownish color. Sorry for the crinkling. I'm just gonna open this. Ugh. A little harder than it should be, really. Okay, there's that. And I'm just gonna dump these back in here and get rid of that plastic paper that's punchy. I don't know why I didn't do this before, but there, okay, that's gone the noise maker is gone all right so then we have to punch our hole and then put our piece in there so this we need to let's see I think I want to unlock things all right so then we can line things up here where I want that hole to be I'm just punching right through, and that is going to be our closure that holds the whole thing together. All right, so now I am just going to get that guy to crimp shut, hopefully. Yeah, we're fine there. Okay, and so that kind of holds everything together. And then for a little bit of decoration, there's that and that. And then I need one more. I 
And let's see what color we're going to go with. I think I'm going to go with orange because of the pumpkin theme here. All right, that one just got away from me, but that'll work. All right. There's that. And then we need to take off a button. I love how they use this closure here to uh, go through the button. You just take that little clip off. I don't know if you can reuse that for something, but all we need is just one little button because it's going to hang from, there it is, all right, this little guy is going to go through our button, and our button's just going to hang off the end like that, and I would put this little guy right here in the corner, so um, just to make things easy, I'm going to mark it, now you could put this anywhere, you don't have to put it on here at all, I just thought it's a nice little addition, and these are pieces of elements that I have that, um, you know, I have on hand, and so why not, right? Okay, so this one, I'm kind of guesstimating where it's going to go. I can see through the side here where I'm trying to line up. All right, so there's my little hole. I'm going to put this piece and I'm just going through the brown paper, okay? Just the brown. And, and let's see if I can get this tool in here. Maybe should have done this ahead of time. I don't know. I think we're going to be okay, though. There we go. So, two. We've got a brown one and, a, and an orange. And then I'm going to put this through, leaving this part in front, okay, and just letting that little button hang there. I mean, isn't this a cute little idea to give to somebody? I mean, this is just so darn stinking cute. And you got some writing paper in here. You can tear them out if you want. Um, but what a cute little gift. And then if you wanted to, you could even put some ribbon at the top or um let's see i don't have extra but i do have raffia on this tag you could even put the raffia at the top and you've got this nice little fall gift for someone hope you enjoyed the tutorial hope it gave you some ideas of quick little projects that you can put together for fall